Okay, there we go. It'll be a sneaky catch up a bit. Uh, oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Yes, sir. First mate Rakir, at your service. And welcome back once again to All the Mod 7 on our second world with this. And uh, yeah, a bit of bad news. I, well, for one, I forgot to actually go check on the mods to get. But the other bad news is that the compatibility mods for Tetra are currently requiring higher versions of other mods that will break the mod pack. So, uh, oh. yeah. No uh, no extra special swords beyond what well, Tetra allows at its base. But yeah. that just means we have more mods to add once we get onto making, a, <clears throat> onto making a mod pack of our own eventually. Yeah, for it, we just talked about this and we agree that the, if we need to do start to do our own mod pack, we will do heavy considerations first before doing that big decision. Since it will, it will mean we will need to possibly do, do an entire new world. Like, yeah, sure, yeah, we it's, could. It's as good as because we we would need to bring over every single map, uh, every single mod with any form of mod generate, not mod, but world generation. Because without those, the seeds would uh, break, probably, or leave the yeah. world incomplete. Exactly, like... Sure, we could save the seed, but... Yeah, then we it... need to make sure we have every mod that allowed the seed to be made in the first place. Yeah. Which, with, well, 373 mods is quite a bit. 373?! Yeah, Yep, yep, wrong. 300, 337. Now, I keep mess... It's it's because in Dutch, the last numbers come, be uh, come before the the second numbers in that. With 175, we would call 155, uh, 570. But yeah, three... That's why I started just calling the numbers out in order. 337 yeah, mods. Also, nice stone walls. And yeah, these are cobblestone bricks, which are pretty easy, pretty... Yeah, also, I've upgraded the <laughs> the quarry from a 2x2 two two to a 4x4. Four four. Nice! Which, well, it dig... It doesn't dig any faster, but it does dig bigger holes. And it's once again hit lava down there. We, we are going to need to use deployers eventually to make this a lot safer. But for now, it seems that uh, while they're while these brick not bricks these parts are connected to the rope pulley that they are immune to catching fire or maybe they are on their own either way i can Let's... hear a skeleton oh. but see i i really like these walls like i, I don't really see them like i seen i seen stone bricks just not these i'm pretty sure these are from modded or late yeah they're from quark all right, uh, I really like the, these. The, I, yeah, I really like them. And yeah, <laughs> out of a sheer stroke of luck, the back door lined up perfectly with this new floor. Yeah. Uh, oh dear. Eventually, we'll be moving up well, between streams. I'll try and have all of this moved downstairs and make this a storage you know, level for the most of it. Um, yeah. Uh, so far, I say this that like, so far for the first level of the basement, you don't really nice. It, it was really annoying to get it to work or to dig out the correct area because apparently I had changed the number in the circle generator that I had used <laughs> for the level above. Uh, so I was always coming up short until I figured that out, and well, then I just dug out everything and put the wall in where it would need it to go instead of just trying to dig along the inside. All right. Still good work. Okay. For now, though, uh, we've done... Uh, we've touched on Tetra, we've touched on Create, we've touched on Tinkers. So I think today we should start working on Ars Magica some more. And yeah. first off, though, I want to move this, but it's, I cannot find where the hell the mechanical piston has gone. Yep. Actually, actually, I'm being a complete idiot because I just realized this is where we stuck the bloody thing for the ceiling. 
Yeah, and I've actually been thinking about this scene and so I wonder if this hasn't been a mistake. It hasn't so far. Nothing has dropped in on us. Yeah, more of... Like, you need to raise it every time you make a new floor. But the, all you just need to do is make one floor at a time. Yeah, but the, the idea was to have a formed uh, roof, not just a flat roof like this, and be doing a curved or, yeah, just a pointed roof over and over again. That would just be too much, I'd say. Yeah, I, I, I would probably save the special style of rooftop at the end when I know that, all right, this many floors I have, this many basements I have, time to make a nice roof. Kind of like that. And I... Yes. I doubt we would need to make a... How to say this? A super tower? <laughs> yeah, we'll like, see how uh, high things end up going. Oh, the, you, you, you all planning to make something that rivals Sauron's tower, aren't you? Maybe. I bloody knew it. Okay. For now, though... Let's see. Uh, one, two, three... One, two, three, four. Yep, that's the correct position. Then we just slap this thing on the sides. And not like that with those. Oh, dear. Yeah, as I, I was thinking of how many floors up we would need. And I came about six, I think. Mm, not sure myself. Yeah, and... And my idea was like, okay, six floors, and each is like 10 blocks high. So every 10th block is a floor, which gives you flo some extra room to make an extra nice roof with some ceiling support, like a pillar or just a roof board. You may see in some old houses that supposed to help hold the roof up or second floor. Okay. Uh, so, the thing is, um, yeah, that booming is going to get really annoying soon. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out how tall would that town then be? Like a 60 block high, not counting the roof. Uh, very, very big at the very least. Now, let's see. Slap that on there. That there. Put a shaft in the middle. And, oh, wait, not enough space, because this thing is still in its place. Uh, put that there, put that there, not you. Okay, yeah, we're just going to set this thing up, then leave it whilst we go look into Ars Technica more. Or not Ars Technica, Ars Nouveau. Ars Technica, what is, is that even a thing, or is that just some random thing I think I remember, oh. but isn't actually one? I'm sure. Have you also heard of that? Ars Technica. It sounds... I think it's a university or something, perhaps. Maybe? Anyway, still... I agree. It sounds weirdly familiar. Hmm. Oh, well. We just stick this thing here again. Uh, do I have the... Where did the there's the wrench? I I yeah. I lost this stupid thing for a while. Uh, what is this? Movement always. Surprised. Move always place when stopped. Uh, what? Place only in starting position. Place only when anchor destroyed. Okay, I, uh -oh. I guess it must be counting it. The meaning for the. Con uh, the contraption underneath it so yeah let's let's have it like this this way we will be certain that nothing can get burnt up okay. that's a good idea and also i, I think i know who the ghost is uh, those weren't supposed to move oh dear right no uh, you want to hear who my fear of who the ghost here is who then? Gavin. <laughs> Good chance of that. 
Uh, we we were going to blow up his house at the end, but we forgot. Uh oh, I actually forgot that as well. Oh yeah, it, it was our plan to do before we started this one. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, let's just make a quick little contraption, or not really contraption, just as something to cover the, this up. So we don't actually walk into this going off, or into the pit. So we'll still need to cover that half. Oh well. Uh, take two, and off it goes, at four yep. times speed, and, and four times size. Again, Gavin. Oh dear god. I should I stick something glowing on that. Keep a better eye on its depth. Like a glowstone? Yeah, or just a torch. There, there's a bunch of unused slime slots on front of it because I ran out of wood. <laughs> oh. hmm. Okay. All of a sudden, something is irritating at the back of my throat. Uh, oh. And now something is irritating my ears as well because there's one of those music box mobs again. Wait, what? I can hear... They, they just walked out of range. Ah! There they are. Okay. That'll make actually for the perfect moment to try out Tink... Uh, not Tinker, Tetra with a bow. Uh, let's see. Makeshift yeah. straight stave, basic string, a riser. What the hell is that? Uh, let's see. Long, recurve, and straight. Let's see. Long... Replaces the stave with a long stave crafted from the given materials. Longbows typically have a slower draw speed but deal more damage. So very good for first strikes. Um, recurve. Da, da, da. Recurve bows typically have a faster draw speed than other types of bows. Okay. And then we have the straight, which is the in-between. Okay, I'd say we go for a longbow then. Yeah, for, we, we rarely use the uh, rapid firing with a bow. Yeah. Since usually when we use a bow, we usually do hit and run, which means speed is not too important as long as we get a hit and get a chance to run away. Let's see. This will, low, this will up the draw time by one, up the strength by four quite a bit, lower the durability just a tiny bit and add 4.2 Overbowed, whatever the hell that is supposed to be. Can we use any metal on this, perhaps? Overbowed. Let me just dump a bunch of stuff here to make some room. Wait, it's a longbow. So, okay, this is a guess, just a blind guess. But since it's a longbow, it might mean it shoots further away. It could be, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, we can make it out of metal. Okay. So that would add 4 strength, or 4.7. Let's see, 4.2. Uh, not much on strength there, so not really worth it. That's silver, silver bow. Hmm. 10.5, 7.5. Hmm. Let's see, how much is wood compared to iron? Let's see. About this, you know, it, it takes longer to draw. And it also ups the durability quite a bit, but in the strength it is just, it's only half a point of damage, or half a heart, half a, yeah, half a point, I'm presuming, of damage less. So let's actually go with a, a metal bow. Uh oh. Oh, and yeah, we need the hammer for that. Of course, uh, obsidian hammer. There, long, iron, craft. There we go. Arches adjustments. Also, wrap the, let's see, ta -ta -ta. slightly increased draw speed, reduced negative effects, potentially caused by the safe material. We saw that before. That works with string and leather, I think. So, do we have some string? Um, 
Well, you have some arrows to use at the very least. Mm. That'd be interesting. There's some string. Okay. So, wrap. Let's see. Plus, uh, minus 1.15, minus 1.15. It's actually the same. So, let's actually use leather, just for the appearance of it. Here to cutting. Uh, yeah, we actually ran into that last time as well. Um, let's see, at Petra, and anything with it. Actually, we could probably just make another hammer and turn that into a um, knife or something. Enderman. I heard an Enderman. They've been popping up pretty frequently. Yeah. And they, they, they keep trying to steal the freaking, you know, the, the freaking grass blocks. Yeah, and that's the one that you see on the roof. Okay, wooden hammer. Then we get some more wood. Actually, not wood not needed. Um, let's see. Obsidian is the strongest that we have at the moment. That I believe we can actually use for making these things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that some bugs there in the menu? Hmm? Uh, with what you mean? Uh, if you look at the your search bar up there, you see some black and purple squares. Oh. Yeah, oh, okay, those are missing items, then I guess. That's odd. Is uh, it the result of the compatibility mod you try to use? Maybe. Okay, that makes for a cutting item with a claw. Straight to level 3 with that. Okay, let's do that. And if we put another claw head on the other side, that should upgrade its tier even further. Okay, apparently not, but still, tier 3 is all we need. So the bow goes back in again. Stave, wrap, and where did the leather go? We had it in the hand just seconds ago. Scrap. I'm pretty sure this isn't all that we had, but oh well. There, there. Wait. Tier 2 cutting. Doesn't the stone claw count for cutting? Let's see. The hammer claw is used for removing nails. Yes. Not for Use for pulling things open. Use for salvaging. Okay, then we need to make another breaking hammer. Yeah, you need something that is movement for cut. It uh, seems to have the, the same. Uh, let's uh, see. Uh, have you ever used a claw hammer? Uh, a few times, but I thought it is. It's a, it's a claw on both ends, and this looks like the same thing, or is it slightly different? Let's see. Um, if it was a claw on both ends, it would basically uh, be able to cut it, that would be basically be an axe. Hmm. Let, let's actually try something else, since it says specifically that swords can be used for cutting it. So if we just Wait. make a wooden sword, upgrade that to stone and such for this. Wait, your own okay, sword yeah, doesn't see. work? It is, the symbol is slightly different. Cutting, yep. Yeah. This item can be used for cutting, usable for crafting and breaking webs and plants. And this one is something different. Can be used for prying things open. Okay. So just an error on my end. We're not going to modify sticks. That's not going to do anything. There we go. Finally, the correct one. Wooden blades. Then we go basic blade. Stone. And that's not enough to upgrade it. Okay. Basic blades. Uh, directly to iron. Also no. What? Okay. Uh, Tetris is interesting, but also a bit confusing sometimes. Yeah. Um, actually, we have that orb. That should show us stuff about it more. There it is. Okay, what would make... 
Let's see, crossbows, bows, blades. Um, no, we need materials, okay. Okay, let's see. Those are for axes. Those are for hammers, hammers. Let's see. Fiber, vine. Okay. So we need to make something from, not string, or the, what is that? Weeping vine. That's from the nether, I'm pretty sure. Then we have mana string. Twisting vine. Dragon sinew. And hemp. Okay. So I guess we'll have to go into the nether to actually be able to make a, an actual cutting implement with this. <laughs> or... Yeah. Okay, what is this? Is this re the requirement? Oh, oh, no, it's the base requirement, not the base uh, what it will give. Okay. That that makes things a bit easier, but uh, still, though. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, if we put that sword in again... Then... Let's see. We need to up... Hmm. Okay. Wooden hammer. And then we look at the heads. Let's see. Atsy head. What would that give? Shovel and axe. So no on that. Axe head. No. Pickaxe head. No. Sickle. Will that do? No, that gives... Let, let's see. What is this? Harvesting plants. And what type of head do we need to turn it into a cutting item, then? A... A... A knife? Let's see. Bolts... It, it said blades, but when we put in a sword and put in a better material, it didn't upgrade the cutting thing. Hmm... See, if we just stick in a, just a straight-up stone sword instead, will that have a better cutting ability? No, still only one. So hmm. we need an iron sword. Maybe. Let's see. Do we, do we have an in. iron sword already? Uh, it's not upgrading from this. Uh... Doubt lead is going to make that any better. No. Don't tell me it wants the straight up uh, diamond swords for this. Yeah, that uh, even diamond has only tier one cutting. What? And what the hell do we need to make a tier two cutting item I, then? I think I. You're so down me. I think you need to turn a sword into a short blade. Maybe, yeah. Let's stone sword, then short blade. If we... There we go, yeah, that... Okay, and if we drop that out with iron... No, that actually lowers its cutting ability again. All right. Uh, oh, no, that's silver. Yeah, that's silver. Okay, yeah. Craft that. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, have I... Through this, last week and this, especially this week, been extra helpful. Yep. Okay. String, does that, basic does string. Does that mean I get more food? Maybe. Yay. Okay, nothing we can upgrade there at the moment. Uh, what is a riser? Limp adjuster, extended rest, sights, stabilizer, let's see. Attach two bolts to the riser by fastening or unfastening. It's possible to tweak the strength of the bow. Okay. Extended rest. Uh, extended rest. Uh, arrow rest so that multiple arrows can be fired each shot. Okay. Each enemy can only take damage once within a 0 0.5 second time frame. So don't overdo it. Sights. Sights crafted from a provided material allow one to see further whilst aiming or while holding shifts. And then a stabilizer... Increases the initial velocity. Okay. 
Uh, let's try some sights on this. Let's see. Yeah, Material the, does so, matter. So this me we can make a very dangerous crossbow with this. Definitely. The crossbow was a thing that it said it showed in the options. Oh yeah, as well mentioned it. <laughs> okay. The, and it, all of this because we wanted to annoy one of those music buckets enemies back, huh? Yeah. No, now we have a at least a good early weapon. We'll probably need to get a, a base uh, <clears throat> a base crossbow first. Well, I know where you can find one. Yeah, the pillagers. Yeah, who are probably bragging about that their yeah tall structure is more magnificent than yours. Now we'll have to go visit them eventually. Then. Yeah. For now, though. Pot probably still surprised we didn't think of stealing the damn windmill. Uh, so, let's keep that in here. At the same time, I think I see a, a possible thing about you taking over a windmill. Uh, let's see, put that in there, put that in there. Always nice right. to have something to steal along. Right, as I say it is. Yeah, I think you can yourself. Dutch pirate make base in a giant windmill. <laughs> it would be even better if I somehow turned it into a bloody boat. I have seen that. It sounds like something uh, that would have happened at least once in One Piece or something. It happened in Heroes of Mighty Magic 3. <laughs> If you find a holy grail, you get a special structure in your capital city. And for the tower faction, alchemist and uh, alchemist and wizards, which makes golden stars, they have a airship carried by two huge weather balloons. It looks like a galleon, I think. And in the middle of the galleon are Right of, in front of each other, two windmills. Uh, uh, where did the arrows go? I, I, I'm pretty sure windmills is not a way for you to propel forward. No. And I, I played it for years and see it many times. Just, just when one day listened to its music on my TV and I had it enlarged was when I noticed that the damn thing had windmills on the deck. And I'm uh, just talking about the uh, simple pose. I'm, I'm talking about what you have outside your house here. Full yes. blown literal windmills. Is it still Rolls going? and all. <laughs> oh, it, it got damn deep already. Holy. That, that's actually... Uh, this, this is going to be useful for this. Uh, Who's it? That's not sure top. if it has, and it's not burning though. It, it's act, it's actually not physical at the moment. I, I think it's hit the bottom. Um, and there. Call it back up, and yeah. there it comes. <laughs> nice. Oh, I just realized another problem with the the current roof system. Um, we were to make an elevator in the middle of the house. True, but we could attach it to the roof. Basically, uh, all I'd need to do is move the power generation up along with it, or just add uh, <clears throat> shafts to connect to it up again. Yeah. Yes. Actually, what we could do is if, if the... Um, we could probably just hide a massive windmill of create, uh, which is basically uh, not like that, not like that. We could hide uh, a create windmill up there, which would power the elevator. And by gluing it all together, it would move along with the roof as well. All right. Still sure it was good. A like it sounds like a good idea at first, but also still later sounds like. Somehow that this current roof you have will bite you in the arse. 
Yeah, we'll see. At the moment, the wandering trader likes it because it keeps him safe. <laughs> yeah. My stuff is just to one floor at a time until I see that, all right, this is the final floor. Time for them a nice top. Might as well put all of those sticks and such to use. Yeah, and also we also have the benefit of we own a massive hill. So we can also do a massive basement. Let's see, what is that? Comfort buff. Not sure what that actually does. Um, huh. We should probably fill this back in. Yeah. Yeah, at least it's out. Okay, yeah, I... By next time, I hope to have just... <laughs> finished sorting everything out. Yeah, we talk, mentioned, I mentioned to him that we probably should uh, soon take more time to... get more off-screen things done. Okay, here's our spell book. No need to throw it. Uh, let's see. Are there any of these that we can do at the moment for... Or we could do this one, I think. Sensitive. I don't... Let's see. Causes forms to target... <clears throat> to target blocks they normally cannot target. Projectile orbit will target grass and touch will target fluids and air. Okay. So we could basically... Yeah, cast, you know, cast ice spells on water then. All right. Um, mm. Actually, we, sh we should probably protest on upgrading the damn book. Uh, yeah, for that we need to go into the nether. Um, yeah, that, that would actually be fun to actually have more reasons to go into the nether. Let's see, I Just think for I had some adventure. Bamboo. bamboo? Yeah, because that is needed to make the scaffolding. Ooh. Oh yeah, they're actually gonna, in the next update for Minecraft, allow you to build structures out of bamboo. Okay. And camel that you can ride as two people on. <laughs> See, I'm pretty sure uh, I had some, apparently not in these bags. And I think, I think people are pondering on if the camel might not be more OP than a horse in this game. Yeah, it could just be that it has less health. Okay. Uh, from what I've seen, it has more. It's, uh, and it's probably slower. To, uh, only slightly. And it's way more tankier and can it can jump quite well. Okay, just need one string. Uh, let's see. And it's apparently easier to tame than on a horse. However... Mm -hmm. You can only find one or two of them per desert village. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a bit... Let's see. Scaffolding, poppy, and a water bucket. Yeah, though uh, you two did mention that the Oop, desert villagers are usually easy to find, but still. It is a limiter on the sand. We explain why, why it's so good, since you can only find them in a specific village. Yeah. Okay, which also means you'll have to go far and wide to find another good one if the, if your camel ends up killed. Yeah, so you probably want to get two camels, then breed them before you start using them on a regular basis. But they definitely can be fun to multiplayer for. It's a case of once the driver and once the shooter. Uh, basically what they... Tapayara did in Ark, I believe. Mm, kinda. I think you also did, you could do that with some other dinosaurs like uh, Pachyranosaurus. Some string, we can use that. A but clock. it looks like many mobs will not attack the camel itself, but still try to attack you. Probably is the camel is massive, so they have a hard time reaching you. But you have an easier time to hitting their head. Okay. Uh, decelerate, sand, uh, soul sand, cobweb, and clock. So, clock, cobweb, sandstone. 
that'll be useful for if we run into groups. Then we can just use an AoE slow spell. There we go. And shoot them. Yep. Uh, duration down, another clock, and so, well, uh, no, glowstone, uh, <clears throat> glowstone. Let's see, reduces the duration of the spells, like potion effects, delay, redstone signal, and others. Not sure what you could really get out of that with use. Then we have extend, that's a lot better. Extract, applies a silk touch effect to break and cause explosion to not destroy blocks that drop. Cannot be, okay. We have that plenty of emeralds. That is very good. Let's see. Actually, I believe there is a mob, not a mob, but a mod called Go Come Find Me or something. Let's see. Find. We might, that might not be added here or something. Let's see. Find. Uh, strange Fish Finder, Trading Contract, Garden gro Travel. Music this dowsing rods helps find swamps and jungles. Okay. Magic finds dowsing rods. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, th this one. Uh, <laughs> we tried this out on the previous world and completely misunderstood it. But basically, what it does if you use it is that uh, well, it causes well, it causes magical creatures and amethyst to glow, so you can actually see it through stuff. Ooh. And okay, it doesn't seem like that is added. It could just be under another name or something. Uh, let's see, emeralds, emeralds. Hmm. Yeah, I I really need to just sort all of this stuff out. Yeah, do. But we feel like we should definitely st soon start to focus on the how to say guarded area for the trees and the. Uh, Food and such. So we have the where we plant food, trees, magic stuff and all that. At the same time also make pathways and lights around this place. So we have oh. less mobs less mob it, issues around the house. Yeah, and it drew in from the inventory. Let's see. Fortune is a rabbit's foot. Pierce is one of those let's see, what is that? A wall and spike. Which we don't have any, I, I think. I Actually, we might have one. Uh, let's see. Spike. If we select it, does it pull anything? Oh, there's an arrow, at least. But no wild and spikes. Maybe in the other chest, since they're way further away. Okay, doesn't look like we have any at all. And I believe they dropped from the defenders. Yeah, the big... What the heck would you call them? Spiky polar bears? Yeah, that is basically what they are. <laughs> Let's see, aquatic, that requires essence. We don't... We can't make essence at the moment since we lack... Uh, what is mana glass or just okay? What what was that? Con oh, conjure mage block. Okay, that requires just a bunch of glass. We made a bunch of glass. Ooh. Uh, where did we leave the bunch of glass? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to turn this entire floor into just one big storage area. Yeah, do we, I think we can see us having boxes in other workplaces. For yeah, just for ease of access. Yeah, there should be things related to the craft or such, like the magic room, like our snow world table, should have things related to magic, basically. Okay, and if it. Apparently, if you can't finish a glyph, it just spits out the stuff that was used for it. There we go. That should help us get around places more easily. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Harvest. Harm. Mage light requires a lantern and a torch. I think we have those. 
None nearby though. Hmm. Do we wait? We do have nearby Helian. Yeah, we can steal it. <laughs> we can steal a lantern from the village. Say that again. We can steal a lantern from the village. There we go. For it sounded like you said village. <laughs> okay, let's go pillage. And there's a bunch well, of monsters. But you are pirates. Okay. Yep. For... Yeah, also, yeah, this is... the cat died due to it specifically to what I expected it or didn't want it to die from one of those Walden that summoned the dogs. Oh, for love of... Yeah, now you see why I said it's probably good to still prioritize on fixing the garden. Like, it, it's probably easier to build a house when the damn garden is safe. Okay, let's get to that then. Plenty of coal, plenty of wood. Uh, yeah, just gonna throw some food into the machine. Okay, F7 to see where anything can spawn. And just start planting these down everywhere. Ugh. Also here, because creepers can just wander over. And it is it isn't the most efficient to just put it down at the edge of the next light source, but at the very least, we will have everything covered like this. Oh, there's the Enderman. There goes the Enderman with a fragment and a pearl. Oh, okay. and back. Welcome All back. Right, that, this, is, this is a good idea you do. Do what we say, still say we need to raise the protect, put on some walls, just raise the ground. Just to make it way too painful for the mobs just to think they can climb up. As well, less ups, ups and downs for us, but yeah, it would just make it easier to put up lights around and secure it. Okay, one here, one here. Just for anyone wondering, the yellow, uh, yellow axes show places where mobs could spawn if it were nighttime. There. Okay, and that's the forest bit covered. Oh, hello. Wait, what color was that? Oh, it's gray. It's a whale that was going after squids. <laughs> or is going after squids. Yeah, that's sperm whales. It part of sperm whales diet. And for a moment, I thought that the sperm whale was white. So yeah, I think you can guess who I thought was what was at first. Yeah, uh, great white. Uh, We're in work, uh. Really, Helium? Really? Or you... Moby Dick? There we go. There we go. That's was the what? <laughs> great white. Re... There's no way in heck I would mistake a sperm whale for a great white shark. Oh, maybe, if the model is bad enough. Also, it seems we have a little mine area here. Too bad we have already made our own. I mean, there was actually several around here, if I remember right. Okay. Now we get on this area. Not too exciting, but at least this should help keep us safer. Big emphasis on should. Yeah, at least until we can, again, raise the ground and do all, several nice gardens and yeah, pathways and such to make it look nice. But at the same time, also make it safer. But also, yeah, we, we need to put our own farm somewhere. And they're not going to fit inside at the moment. And yeah, that 60 and... torch is gone. 
Oh dear gods. Uh, Bessie? Don't use that tune with me. Okay. Once more. At least we in a way have one cow stables downstairs. Uh, downstairs. What the? What the? Yeah, there are cows and horses in there, I think. Yeah, and just realized we have a land bridge in the back. That, that Sprixy is still stuck in there. Uh, that's just good, ain't it? Yeah. Just need to go grab some bones and a sapling, and it will be ours. Yeah, what did they do again? Uh, I forget. We should be able to find that in the Warren, <clears throat> in the Warren Journal. Yeah, for here's the thing: if they can help us with the farms, with like vegetables and stuff, or help us with trees, they could be very useful for uh, tree farms. Maybe trees would be the most likely, since you have to grow a tree to befriend one. Yeah, and if they can grow the, the trees themselves, then basically means you do need to have a great uh, thing to harvest trees. This probably will make things safer for you, since... How many times have you cut yourself on it? Uh, plenty. Yeah, you see, then you see what I'm talking about, then. Hmm. I think this slope is going to be too tough for most monsters to climb, but let's at least cover the top of it. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah, th this full side looks like the easiest one to just prepare a big wall for. Less to fill in. Actually, we could probably just sort of wall everything off by just installing an a floor that extends outwards. What? Uh, if we just... Uh, let me just show with these. If you just extend this out so that it hangs over everything, so they just not, nothing can climb up and spiders can't climb up over it either. Well, I guess, though, that will look ugly. Okay, it's most of this area covered. Let's go down here. Uh, not too far down here. For a moment I thought it was an endermint, but no, that's the portal. Yes, same. I did the same thing. Okay, cover most of this. Some free clay. That's up pretty high. Yeah. Can I order? Usually it's, Why the, was the... usually it's in the water, on the water. Yeah. Uh, wait, I saw more clay. Yeah. Uh, we don't so need little... it at the moment. Was that a, a little cave? Mm, don't think it was. Okay. Let's basically put this here, basically as a marker of our territory at the moment. And also, we can't go and cover all of that with torches either. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have a little more water tunnels, it seems. But yeah, definitely make a tall... Uh, would you call it a wall cliff? Mm. A cliff wall probably more, would be more accurate. Yeah, a cliff wall just to make it too hard for mobs to get up to us, but also sort of make it nice. Okay. And also, forget, I have some uh, more gate ideas. Oh. Well, tell me, what are you gonna name this new colony? Uh, not sure yet, actually. 
Well, if it's going to be Hill Drake or Drake Hill Colony, we could make a Drake head. Okay. Oop. Well, let's try to. No souvenirs. No, oh, there was a shot. I thought it dropped a fruit or something. Look, you can hear them even after they died. It's kind yep. of freaky. <laughs> no, they're, they're too angry to die, and then they're too angry to... Uh... I'm not even sure where I was going with that. Too angry to live? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you can work yourself up into a heart attack if you get too angry at things, I think. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that is a thing, sadly enough. Okay. And holy, um, uh, look behind you up to the village. Hmm? Those are some big sh sugar canes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's actually grab some. We have, we have plenty of books and paper at the moment, but sooner or later we'd run out anyways. And yeah, this goes quite deep already, huh? Holy. Not sure if that is from the upgraded, left, the upgraded world generation from Minecraft itself, or if one of the mods had a play in that. Maybe. That... It reminds me, I think I know the biggest issue we did in our old map. And that was? We settled for a too small cave for... Yeah. Some people have found massive underground caves and we didn't. Yeah, we found again, a long one, but not a big one. Yeah, and had we continued to searching and found the foundry, we could have started with the foundry instead. Uh, we could have, but we wouldn't have been able to beat the mobs in there. Yeah, true. And we only found it by accident by making the accidental div uh, colony cl too close to it. Yep. Now, let's see. I think we've covered... Oh, here's still some yellow. In the most important area. Right up the bloody front door. <laughs> yeah. And our visitor is back. Okay. That should Hello, be Gavin. most. Yeah, hopefully this should be enough. And we're probably going to make a, a new door at some point that's a better posi positioned. Well, now that the entire area is lit up, it should be a lot easier and safer well, a lot safer to go outside. Yep. I really like this cobblestone brick. And it's... Is it easy to make brick, I hope? Yeah, just four cobblestone. And where the hell is a... Where is a zombie here? Where is... Did see something that looked like a hole into your domain? So I guess he... Found a hole and got inside accidentally. And that's just the that's just the water wheel powering this. Also, let's actually check it out. Okay, that is okay. Eleven geodes, quite a bit of metals. Okay. And you have to put a light on this thing. Actually, let's put two lights on there. Yeah, uh, that's a lot of good, good deep slate. We did talk about the use of iridium a deep, a deep slate for the outer walls of the tower. Yeah. Okay. Now it's. I'm checking the. I'm keeping an eye on the mini map. Now it says it's underneath us. Oh, I. I think I know what's going on. It's not underneath you, is it? Ah, I saw the head. And this is why you fill up the holes properly. Yeah. Not just cover on top like other YouTubers do. You need to 
do it properly, otherwise you had this issue. There we go. Well, one eviction notice given. And, well, may as well... And he there. did it again. He <laughs> now at least with a light source. Um, okay. Let's just survey the area a bit. Not seeing any yellow in that direction. Maybe something with enchanted equipment there. No yellow visible over here. Yeah, I don't think we did it perfectly, but it should reduce the annoyance by a lot. Yeah. And the ceiling is also lit up at the top, so there will be nothing spawning up there except for <laughs> annoying traders. The way you pronounce trader. It's almost sometimes you say you're about to say traitor. Okay. Fill that up. And let's see, we don't have an axe with us again. As usual. Okay. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. At least that should have a six opening. One, two, three, four, five, six. To, well, because the... The top and bottom and sides of the circle, or at least the so circle in the walls, is eight. So that leaves an area of six between. So we just dig out the middle two. We can put up some double doors here. Yeah, he would be good if a double door. For it, will look e it should look even and nice. Provided yeah, you had done the... staircase down. Yeah. Also, it provides it that you have measured correctly. I hear the food down. I'm gonna go and grab it. Okay. Um, let's see. One, two. One, two, three, four. Yep, should line up. Okay. Uh, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna just make another pair of doors. And actually, let's add these as well. There. Mm. Not the time, Gavin. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking something a bit silly. And where did that go? It didn't go anywhere. Probably a completely unneeded, but oh well. Um... Grab some cobblestone for construction material. Bit crude at the moment, but they will. One under, one in front. Under and front. So that way, okay. to break these still actually we have wood and stone just like that and there 
Oh Next. dear. But I wonder... Wait, don't you still have that bonsai tree thingy? Uh, that should still be installed, yeah. We could we could give that a use again, or try again. Yeah, for... Probably feel like that, that was a bit more easier to use for tree farming. True, but it, it wouldn't automate. It, it refused to work with automation. Yeah. Though at the same time, you just put in some access and leave it alone. Really? In return, you, you... You remember how much wood you got from it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, after I started throwing in some good, uh, <clears throat> some good axes. <clears throat> Pardon. Yeah. And we only need a, we don't need infinite amount of uh, wood at the, all the non-stop. We only need it to make, for uh, we have a few for when we need it. And uh, all right. Also, you this heard of nice. double doors? How about double double doors? <laughs> I have heard of it. I have seen those. They are practical. Okay. Just, just don't do rotating doors. Yeah, that, that you, we could actually make those if we wanted to. That's why I'm saying don't. For that would kill you. Knowing you. I like this design. And that makes me wonder if it would look better with cobblestone brick. Yeah, probably. So, one, two. There we go. Let's not use up the diamond pickaxe. Yeah. Well, at least this looks like a good model currently. Ex yeah, they mm. look way better. And yeah, the cobblestone that we dig up, we can actually reuse into cobblestone bricks. Yeah. Like, it, it, just these regular cobblestones, I think, looks almost better as a path, if you get what I mean, like a small road and such. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Mm, that one's not needed there. Hmm. I wonder yeah, if we could just throw the, if we can throw stone uh, stairs and walls through the grinder as well. That's... Huh. It sounds like it should be possible in theory, but the question is, will it be, will it be rewarding? It, it at the very least would get rid of a bunch of extra stuff that isn't really used. Yeah, like th this may be what we would use, but we I'm pretty sure we also will find free wall pieces that we would not use. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Make a little bit more. Holy crap! This looks very good. And we make yeah. some stairs with it. And going to need something to fill it in for a bit. Oh, ceiling. Yeah, this looks nice. A, a bit iffy with it basically floating, but oh well. Yeah, it, that I can agree with. We could probably raise a, a slight smidge later. It's a start. Yeah. Speaking of starts, um, let's. We can move this thing again, but we should empty it out first. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to pre dig a bunch here so we don't need to continuously just. Dig up new room for the uh, for the piston to go into. Yeah, uh, I think I may have a 
name for your sledgehammer? No. Princess. Princess? Take a look at it. <laughs> uh, you, we, yeah, you'd made that joke before. Yeah, just maybe something like, like Princess. You know what? No, if I call it Princess Smash, it would be taken out of context. <laughs> Princess Hammer or something. It, it, it looks like a one of those. How would you say it? A Sailor Moon knockoff or something? Uh, a bit, perhaps. <laughs> hmm. I, when I thought, when I thought we were to make a cobalt and amethyst bronze, I thought it was going to look cool, like dark purple and such. No, you got a pink hammer. Oh, we need very full. And what I'm doing now is just a bit of an idea that came to my own mind. There, 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 there. It looks a bit more solid. Yep, it does. <laughs> Still a bit high, but oh well. Yeah, it, we can fix that later. For now, it at least... It at least looks like a door. Okay. Once again, just really going to need to get to work on this sooner or later. And let's crack open those geodes that we found. Uh, I think an iron hammer should do. No yeah. need wasting the uh, obsidian one. Yeah, do not forget to we were to go to the nether for more materials. Yeah. Sort that. Okay. Some lead. Some tin. Aluminium. A diamond. Nice. An emerald. More. Uh, a different kind of lead. Flint. Redstone. Silver. And more silver. Okay. Can put those through here. Actually, how full is this? Not full, but it's getting there. So we should probably get to work on that washing station soon enough. Yeah, but you now have a basement. We could make those things easier and nicer. Yeah, we could base. We could. We could lower this so that the upper box is still accessible here to just throw stuff into. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's once again just take this thing off, plant it down. There we go, crouch place. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to risk the spell book, even though all of the glyphs that we've unlocked should be unlocked to ourselves and not to the spell book itself. Yeah, it seems like it's unlocked to all the books. Um, let's, let's take the hammer and our weapons, of course. Uh, don't think they will have a need for a crafting stick. Our armor is looking decent. But of course, we're going to need gold if we're not going to take off the locals. Uh, there it is. Yeah, they don't... I can't believe I say this. They love gold more than pirates. Some construction materials for the safety. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, hmm? A torch and a lantern. We were going to go down and grab a lantern from the neighbors. <laughs> yeah. How would you describe Piglin's love for gold? Uh, obsessive. Yeah, that's probably a good word. Way more obsessive than a pirate. Then again, but why sugar was worth more than gold? Yep. Which meant, yes, pirate raided boats for sugar. I think I know what these are actually for. 
uh, yeah, I, I forgot to remove the paraglider mod. But if we have enough of those spirit orbs that we can get and find, we should be able to offer them up at a statue like this. Or what, though, I don't know. And, well, since we have an extra here, might as well see if this one will break or if we will collect it. Collect, okay. Cursed. Okay. Um... There we go. Okay, you're a smart pirate. Uh, smarter than uh, Jack and his crew when they stole the gold. Well, Jack didn't steal it. He didn't touch it. So he was spared the curse. Okay, just checking around for some more places to light up. This will be a good place for enemies to spawn, so let's deny them that. And the heck? Okay, that, that is an orca over there. Or a killer whale. <laughs> okay, those go high. Yeah, both are correct terms. Do I think orca is the more official term? There's still survivors here that are not stuck in the fountain. Let's see, if we actually try to interact with these... Oh, hello. You have conk... What was that? Okay, tell me what it is you desire. Okay, yeah, we, we can offer those up, but we don't have any at the, at the moment. Hmm. We have two in storage. But we need more. I don't know actually how to get them besides just finding them. Uh, might have to look up a bit on that mod. The most, yeah, the most reason that, or actually the only reason that I put that mod in was because the glider was removed or isn't a part of all the mod 7. And I thought the paraglider would be similar, but no, it's more of the, it's the <clears throat> it's like the uh, paraglider in the uh, Legend of Zelda: Breath of Breath of the Wild. Is that good or bad? Uh, good enough, I'd, I'd say. And that's all of our torches gone again. There, we don't really we won't really need torches in the Nether. E Kinda, yeah. Like, it's dark, but it's not that dark. And again, a result of the gen of the world generation being a bit funky. Just having it floating above other stuff. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, over an hour in and finally going to the nether. Yeah, that's what I remind you earlier. <laughs> okay. Uh, what we'll be looking for will be at the very least another fortress, which might be a pain to find. If we absolutely have no luck finding one at all, I'll, I might just have to start teleporting around the place. Um... Uh, careful now. We should probably get a at least a one waystone in this area as well, just so we don't have to go running back and forth. Yeah. With that. Okay. Encounter a crimson mosquito. Thanks. I hate it. Me too. I hate it. I hate it very much. What the heck? Basically a face hugger. And there's more. I I, I see them on, on a younger YouTuber one day video, but I did not know it was part of this mod. I was I just saw it and thought, ah, hopefully we don't have it here. You're proven wrong. They yeah, I, I saw it. Alex mod. 
Alex is the one that did the animals, was it it? Yep. There we go. And I hear the buzzing of more, I think. I guess we know what happened to the other pigmen here. And I hear gas in the far distance. Okay. Let's see then. Do we have any hints? Let's see. That is... Cracked, polished blackstone. That's a fortress, I believe. Not... not uh, no, not... That's one of those piglin places. But not what we're looking for. What do you have things you need? They are... Well, full of loot. Yeah, and piglins, if we're not careful of pissing them off. Actually, if you... If you take take that, if you start, if you take loot from those boxes whilst they have a line of sight on you, that will piss them off as well. Rudo, you can find netherite tools in those places. Let's see. Four pearls, an emerald, and some dye. I think we have four pearls at the moment, but having extra doesn't hurt. <laughs> okay, that's he the just... second time. That's the second time we've had something like that happen. Did he just hit his head? Yeah, he teleported into a space that's too small for him. Oh dear. And also, is, ain't those the ones you needed? Uh, not needed. Uh, what it showed on the the holographic orb was the requirement of the tool requirement for working with it. And we can okay. still collect some. Maybe this could make for a better bowstring or something. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, what the? Mm. But something by the lava. It was long. Okay. I just I see a strider. Was... But it looked like a, like a, a a ray of smoke. Do you see it? Yep, that looks like some sort of bone serpent. All right, I was guessing either a long monster or a sort of one of those smoke feel like a you know a hiding up a ray of smoke or such. But, yeah. yeah, now it's confirmed. It's a... It's something we probably want to be careful of. Yeah. And just in general, we want to be careful in this area. Just in case we run into any gaps in the floor. Yeah, like... I kind of feel sorry for you. Also, here, like... Out at sea, we need to worry about sea serpents and sea moss all the time. Now we need to worry about lava monsters. Yep, and one, once Valheim updates again, we should finally get back to that again. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh here's the thing. Ooh. Okay, I had a feeling that it that was it coming towards us. What is that thing? But serpent. <laughs> exactly what it says on the tin, huh? Yeah, oh, I do wonder if we can kill it, what will it reward us with? Probably bones. And, uh, but whatever it would drop would probably get lost in the lava, so we'd have to get it on land. Yeah, and as for Valheim, like, I start to know that I, I may have enjoyed Valheim more than Ark, multiplayer wise, especially. Yeah. In Ark, you constantly have to wonder if you're if your bloody beasts are going to die or not. Yeah, and the other thing, here's another thing. Orc was meant to be a multiplayer first. This meant, but at the same player, yeah, yeah, I think we noticed, like, if you're gonna do, like, we play multiplayer, it mean, means, yeah, ragdoll dragged whenever he goes nearby a cave, you sort of get to teleport into him and might die from that. Yeah. And that another can... issue is, like, if you have to do caves, that means due to a single player, 
the artifacts may not be in there or loot. Yeah. Okay, music is getting a bit loud. Yeah. So basically, if you want to enjoy ARC multiplayer, you, you're almost forced to pay for a server or host a server on a second PC. What have we here? But you don't have... Oh. Like, the issue we have with ARC is non-existent on Valheim. You can yeah. be able to template pool without paying for a server without an issue. That's a lava slime island on top of Ooh. a nether temple. Yeah, uh, yeah. sorry for interrupting you so yep. much by accident. Uh, no problem. And the bone serpent is just chilling. Yeah, uh, uh, I think I meant to say to you that I recently, this last week, I still realized that uh, I would not be surprised if I uninstall Ark at some point. Yeah, it is just absolutely massive with the amount of space it takes up. Yeah, like, it is fun and all, but also about you realize it takes up so much space, and to make it really fun, you need to have a lot of mods installed. And when you realize how hard you on the PC to play with other friends, either you need to pay for them server, or have a lot of issues playing multiplayer. <laughs> Oh, there's two of them. Holy. Yeah. So when you compare Ark yep. to Valheim with only like one gig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you could just download vanilla Ark, but it's still going to be around 80 gig or 90 yep. gig. Another. That's not even. Okay, let's uh, not risk that any. I, I just hope Arc 2 is more compact. polished. Uh, yeah, compact, that is well. polished. You, you uh, yeah, are coming for I the high jump. Holy crap. But yeah, I still, like, I still love Arc, but I'm not going to deny it has issues. And again, I think I said before, it's one of the teams. It's hard to recommend to people because you know it's gonna take a long time for them to download and there may be issues. Yeah. Valheim may like... also have issues, but it's it's still early access, you can't get past it, and it's only one gig and cheap. Yep. Okay, and so, let's try this. Some people are nagging that they are too slow with update, but I wanted to realize that some you to notice that. The same people that complain Valheim is so slow to update, they tell all the companies to take your time. Bloody hypocrites. Yeah, double standard. Yeah. But, I said it, and but the, the YouTuber, for good one, did comment on that so they should pay, pay, pay attention to. Valheim tried to crush as many bugs as possible. Ark still has plenty. Yeah, and many of them are, they have fixed, but many of them are still there due to earlier team. Since it's not the original team working anymore, made a mess. Oops. Okay, someone was very <laughs> eager to greet us. That was a very... Like, okay. I see people are having bad days on spawning first time on. Like, the first time they spawn, they spawn next to a T-Rex, but he, this guy just... ...spawned and tripped into lava. Oh. Break that. That's and just bad luck. Just screw with the traps and such. Oh, hello. We needed those. Nice. But, yeah. I'm looking forward to when Valheim updates for... They are clearly wanna... Do it as good as possible, as smooth as possible. Schematic intricate. Okay, I've I've heard of those. Uh, if we put those, if if we hang those from a, a workbench with Tetra, it'll unlock new things. Ooh. Let's see. Put that in there. Then we can grab the spikes or grab the spikes. There we go. Did you bring your backpack with you? 
No, we, I left that out specifically to not an, another one. Okay. Specifically to not risk the stuff in there. Let's see. Oh. Unbreaking two. Taking that. Is that uh, crimson iron? Let's see, we have plenty of those, I think. The stop worm. Probably not something we're going to make any use of. Golden horse armor. We're just taking that for the swag. Compressed iron material. Armor, metal bricks we don't need, B bombs. <laughs> okay. Uh, blaze gold is always good to get. Levers we don't need. There, there. Compressed iron helmet. Yeah, what is that? Is that movement speed or something? Let's see. Uh, nether bananas and their pool shards we have these magic lollipops again that we get from drops um, let's grab these just to give them a shot it, we'll keep this mines we keep where did we find nether wards okay it's just a blank okay yeah, I will be gonna need to return to the place to get the rest of the loot. Yeah. Let's see. And what's this blue ray here? Yeah, that's from this uh, marker that I made. Oh, all right. So let's just keep an eye out for any other traps. Wait, hold on. Why is that piston with glue here next to you? Yeah, that's probably supposed to push something. Oh, that. <laughs> that would have been even more annoying than arrows. Luckily, the zombie pigmen aren't hostile, at the very least. Unless you accidentally hit them. Yeah. Okay. Let's just make a quick runner. And... Okay, yeah, let's bring all of this back. Maybe just empty out one of the back is from one of the smaller backpacks and bring that along. Yeah, like is this book gonna have a big backpack at home or some surface explorer, but for the nether, probably better with a smaller backpack that's a more easy to afford to replace. Also, keeps you prevent you from getting too greedy. Yeah, also, I should mark where the bloody hell. The portal is. Because man, navigating these warped forests is a lot more confusing, but there it is. Hmm. Actually, let's do something here. If I remember correctly, you can trade with piglins. Yes, by you can. Dropping gold. But our inventory yep. is a bit full for that. Yeah, there is a random what they give you. True. And it from, reminds... It, it could be useless stuff, but it could also be good stuff. Oh, yeah. And I just remember a, a special room idea. I got to tell you, you probably should add it into your tower. Can that be? Rusher Vault. Okay. Let's first drop off all of this stuff. Uh, some open stuff here. And there. Uh, put that there as well. Might as well do the end netherite as well. Uh, put the freezing and whatever. Seed pouch. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing that's supposed to just collect all of the seeds that we carry around or something. Let, let's see. Seed pouch. Okay, that doesn't seem to be me. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to look into that, whatever we have with Botania. That's all of those covered.
No worries. Are the bags cheap to make? Yeah, pretty cheap. Just the basic ones are just uh, leather and string. And we have string here. Do we have leftover leather? Uh, I don't see any. Oh, so I think if we, I think if we use, you know, I think there is something we can use uh, rotten flesh on to turn it into uh, leather. Let's see. Drying rack. Okay. It does take about a minute and a half. Let's see. Herb rack. Okay. String, slab, and stick. Let's grab all of this back for a second. Uh, string. Where sticks? Oh, reminds me. In the next update for Minecraft, they're gonna add functional bookshelves. I'd I'd thought a bit about that. I think. Yeah, and also that if you put put a book inside it, you will see the see the book on the outside. Okay, one drying this, rack. This is kind of nice. I say. Okay, uh, might as well, let's see, where can we, do we need to hang this from something, hmm, uh, right click to place items inside, does it need to be hanging from, down from something? Let's do a little oh, test. Me. There we and go. Also we, here's another thing. Each floor we make, we should probably use uh, slabs as floors. Yeah, because mobs can't spawn on those. Yep. And slabs are cheaper than blocks, correct? Uh, let's see, for three... Uh, yeah, for three wood, you get six slabs. So basically double floor coverage. Yeah, that, that would make, make it each floor easier and faster to make by a lot okay since we got the spike now we can get pierce there and we'll draw those out we can drop one of there and there we go now where are those arrows in here or was that just a singular one Let's hope that was just a singular one, otherwise you wasted a big stack of arrows. I, I very much doubt it would draw an entire d stack. But we have the stack of emeralds in here, and it only drew one of them. All right, that's good. Otherwise, uh, uh, yeah. I also saw some other spells here. Split. Okay, that needs a, <laughs> that needs a saw. Uh... And something, you know, one of these source things, but we don't have that. Uh, let's see. Many of these are going to... Oh, yeah. Um, where is that lantern that we had? You, you have the lantern in the bag. It's next to right the bow. Uh, next to the bananas, I mean. Uh, torches, torches. Let's first... Uh, where was it? Conjure mate lights there. It's not drawing anything. So what was that popping sound I heard? Yeah, what was that popping sound? Uh, do you do you need to make more torches? Yeah, we ran out of them whilst lighting up the area. I might as well make a bunch more sticks. Now, where is the... There is the coal. Okay, there. 
one there. Anything we can use these for? Let's see. Blood blood sprayer. Really? It hmm. Makes me wonder what back. it is used for. Like if you spray at a enemy mob with that, maybe all the mosquitoes go to target the mob. Maybe. Um or oh, that that was damn quick. Nice. But all the other theory is maybe use it to tame them? I find that doubtful. Yeah, same. That would be concerning. Rosie, be, be, but we to investigate how many of these Alex mobs uh, are tameable. I don't think we did. What we good to or do if any at all. Yeah, for all we know, we might have several good mounts or beasts of war to use. I'll take that. I'll take this. Since we can use those to get up and down. Uh, let's also grab some bread instead of just <laughs> carrots. Um... Oh no, I, I just... I just had an idea. I feel, I feel like you will. You're probably gonna do as quick you have a chance. Oh. Automatic toaster. <laughs> uh, that word helps since well, toast is just bread cooked and gives a lot of extra stuff. For a moment, I thought that was a face floating in the uh, sky, but no, it's that Sky Island. <laughs> Yeah. But can I wonder if it would be a good idea to put the uh, light sources on it? Maybe turn it into a floating lighthouse, I guess. Yeah, for one of the ideas I was wanting to see so is to turn to have a lighthouse top on this tower. I hope we could give that a shot. But actually it kinda makes sense. That would keep ships from Hitting your island. There we go. No, that, <laughs> that was the very first seeds that we planted. What? Really? I thought you... Wait, the saplings doesn't count. Okay. Mm, nope. Uh, it's getting, getting cold. Give me a moment. Right. Okay, uh, I was getting asked if I wanted to have dinner early or later, since night shift and such. Okay. Well, yeah, it, it makes more sense to have dinner late, bef right before the work. Also, there... Yeah, that means, means you are well, more well fed before work. Yeah. Also, let, let's quickly break this thing so we can actually put it down on the floor. Breaking it turns it back into a crafting table. But we just need to hit it with a hammer again to get it to, well, become a work bench again. And yeah, we have uh, plenty of hammers. What is this I see occasionally pop up? A mule needle? Well. When you turn toward the village, some, a nameplate oh. comes up. Yep. Okay, what? That's a waypoint. But I told it to hide those. I, I guess they got reactivated because we came back from the nether. Uh, let's see. There we go. There is one of these added. Though I don't know exactly how we can uh, access what they offer now. Let's see. Socket dime. Actually, there was something that I found. Rather curiously. Yeah, there was this. A pristine diamond. Yields increased bonuses when used for item improvements. 
So if we go over here and then sockets, yeah, that, that'll give, um, that'll give extra <clears throat> bonuses compared to the normal diamonds. Expensive maintenance. Let's have a look. Find a pristine gem in a geode and use it to socket a sword or a tool. Okay. Nice. It deals a bit more damage now. And uh, I, I kind of want to try out the bombs, but at the same time. It's, Let yeah, me I, guess. Yeah, I, I'd, you... I'd probably end up uh, blowing up a bunch of pigmen and getting war declared on me. Yeah, actually, I thought, did you kill any of the bone serpents? Uh, we I managed to kill one of them, and we got well a bunch of bones from it. What else did we expect? Uh, I hoped for like bone serpent bones, bone serpent skull, or something like you could do a bone serpent armor. No, we didn't. Let's see, backstab. We didn't need blades or serrate, which it does not work against the undead, so might not be that useful. And we have temper. Temper the point of the blade, increasing, greatly increasing its hardness, causes some of the damage dealt to ignore armor. That is a very useful. 20% penetrating, so let's do that. And is there anything else we can just outright upgrade? Uh, wrap hilt. Didn't we already do that? I think you did. Uh, we have leather. Let's see. Wrap hilt. Uh, apparently not. Okay. It requires the two cutter. There's the iron sword sword or dagger. There. Okay. Upgraded this thing even further. I'm guessing what this one is supposed to do is that it unlocks gilding. But I don't know where that might be. Or what could be gilded. Hmm. Let's see. Gold doesn't work there, or not as good. So I guess we are, at the moment our diamond sword is as damaging as it will be. At, okay, Three? nine points of damage, as it'll be. Yeah. Oh dear. All right. Um, let's actually make some spells with this thing, which we do by pressing C. I think we'd said it before. Projectile, break, and let's see. Let's have our first one actually be just a a strong break, possibly even strong enough to break. Uh, actually, no. If we wanted to break <clears throat> uh, spawners, we'd want it to be sensitive as well, so we can actually use those for our own use. Uh, let's call that one Shatter. And let's. And that that's basically an oak, uh, not an oak, <laughs> a silk touch a spell that we have now. Uh, okay, second one is going to be then another break, but oh, we, oh yes, we can't you, we can't use the AOE effect yet because our spell book isn't strong enough. Yeah, I did mention we need to start prioritizing on upgrading them spell books. So yeah, it's a bit more useful. Yeah, like so. Actually, then it's really useful that we have this one with sensitive. Yeah, because that wait, means wait, we can. Wait, 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 wait. Are you? Because. Double check backpack. No backpack on. Uh, with its silk touched, or with the silk touch effect, it means we can break a, a spawner and place it somewhere where we want, like uh, in another furnace, like we've done before. Oh, that was a. Horrifying sight. But a very efficient one. Okay. Give me that. And yeah, it looks like we have this both of these scrolls are the same, so might as well just throw that in there. And let's see. I think 
What was it again? Uh, you said string and leather? Yeah, I probably need to make a backpack and leave some stuff behind so we can just grab the all the loot we had to leave behind. It's, what was that? Golden fishing rods, really? Catch goldfish? There you go. And a chest. Oh, we have a recipe to me crossbow? Apparently, yeah. Hmm. Definitely going to give that a shot. Yeah, I don't know what uh, the major difference between crossbow and bows. For wait, is crossbow the only range where we can use along with a shield? Uh, not sure, but I know that the crossbow is supposed to hurt a lot more, but it takes more to charge it first. Yeah, for I think I recall seeing many YouTubers have crossbow and shield, but I don't think I remember too many use crossbow and bow. Crossbow. And bow. Bow and shield, I mean. <laughs> uh, let's keep those arrows on us. Let's drop off the bombs for now. These as well. That's probably going to be used somewhere eventually. And put those two back in here. Actually, might as well use one of these. What do you do? Absorption. I believe that means we take less damage, at the very least. Useful. Okay. This one is just going on to our back. Then that is going back there. And we don't have a need for that, I think. Uh, where's this? Where's the diamond? There is the diamond sword. Okay. Two stacks should be enough. We have a bunch of bread. Okay. And back in we go, nether, well, blaze hunting. What is that in your hand? Black currant. Or black currant, or however you're supposed to pronounce that. It's, it's a fruit or something. Oh, I think I remember. We call them, I think we, these are ones we call. Svata Vin Bar. Which raw food would translate as black wineberry. Okay. Kind of on the nose I... of what that <laughs> is used for. Uh, I don't think they're all used for wine, actually. I think it's more like the people thought it tasted like wine. And I actually loved them as a kid. And for some reason, I decided to try and make one of it. Just Put a lot of berries inside a yard and squash them. And take a sip. Feel my mouth getting destroyed and shriveling up into a raisin. <laughs> yes, it was a failure. <laughs> Definitely. A lot of the time I apparently had the bright idea to... By visiting some person, grab some to take home and put them in my back pocket. And front pockets. Yeah, not a good idea either. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's not head along the lava this time. And go more. Oh, I wonder inland. why. Yeah, I'm, those swirls are making me think that there's actually stuff next to me. What was that? It sounded like something walking nearby. Let's see. Okay, there's no cave mode in the nether. Hmm. Yeah, there's a red forest up there. or I, I don't think it's called that, but that's what I'll call it just for the ease of it. I think it's called Crimson Forest. Could be so that, not, yeah. Yeah, I don't think you're too far off. Uh, let's see. Mm. 
Yeah, I so you just apparently claim that the green forest, like these, are the most dangerous one, but... And you claim that red forest is safest, which I feel like is... Might be the other way around. Yeah. Okay, let's collect some of this. We'll need to collect some more of the green wood, because I'm not sure if we actually picked that up earlier. Okay, that was a baby piglin, or a young piglin. That might have been chilling out on top of the tree we cut down. <laughs> At least he's not hostile. Okay. Holy! Well! I think we found several good lights, so was this move? further project yeah <laughs> okay. Okay. so a youtuber actually using these to decorate the entire room using them as doorway lights and oh. roads or wet floor in this case uh, there's the portal okay There we go. So I don't forget it. Oh, or so we don't get lost this time. Let's see. Blackstone will want some of that. Even if just for decoration. And I think there should be plenty <laughs> of this wood for the moment. Nice. As long as no pigment get in the way of my ha my axe. And yeah, it's an axe and not a ham axe. And yeah, that just shows how useful that chopping uh, <laughs> that chopping mod is. We don't have to yeah. chop down each and every one, uh, every bit of it. I kind of hope they add that to vanilla Minecraft for obvious reasons. Yeah. Oh, that's in the resonating gem. Let's okay, see. the music. <laughs> Very foreboding. Yeah, it is the nether, so of course it's going to have to be foreboding. This place is, well, probably... I'd say it's a bit of a coin toss between if the nether or the end is the most dangerous. Just they both have their own obstacles. Hmm. Okay, the map's not showing anything on this height, so we might... For all we know, we are right next to a, a bloody fortress. But the game wouldn't tell us. Grab some of that. But, okay. Imagine if that was on your kill on the surface world, then you basically have a free tower. Yeah. A, a dark tower. Was that a reference to the Dark Towers uh, novels? Yep. What, really? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or at least there was a movie of it that's released somewhat recently that kind of flopped, I believe. Yeah, it was based on the novels. It sounds like an interesting idea. You said it flopped. I didn't even know it flopped. Yeah, that's the thing with uh, a lot of media re you know, in modern times. Okay, I thought I heard something, but that was just the ambience. Not what I wanted there. Uh, with so much stuff coming and going so fast, uh, by the time you typically hear of something, uh, for the first time, you might not ever hear of it ever again. 
Yeah, then only for a few years later you remember, oh right, it was that thing. What happened with that movie? That's Magmatic Stone. Okay, it doesn't oh. hurt. It does what is glow that? a little bit. Let's see, Magmatic Stone. Okay, we can turn you into magma blocks and then into uh, lava. So not too useful, actually. Maybe for decoration. So let's grab a, f a stack or something. It, it kind of looked like smoldering coal, almost. You know, these look like hot coal. There we go. Don't have to step on the hot stone. Nope, oh, Enderman. I think Enderman might be why the green forests are considered so dangerous, since they can pop up basically anywhere. Yeah, like, green forest is still dangerous, but it's easy to deal with Enderman compared to Hoglins that throws you around. And piglin that swarms you. We just build our own little bridge down. Bridge? Bridge. I think you mean stairs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you haven't had Not your sneakers today, Gavin. have you? Oh dear. And what is warped soul sands? Okay, and I hear the ghast. Yeah, I kinda wonder what can we use this for? If anything, it's can collect it, but we can't make anything with it. Maybe it burns differently if you light it on fire? Mm, I find it a bit doubtful. Warp coral block. What? Co coral? What? Wait, what? What's coral doing down here? Keep those and the rope. Rope is used for, for going up and down places. And yeah, it is slowing us down. Let's see. Anything we can get a good look of up here? Maybe sight on a fortress? What are those lines, though? Hmm. Oh, I'm curious of it as well. See, how far did we get? Quite a bit. Magma Wastes region, okay. Crimson Gardens region. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is quite the distance that we've gotten. Holy. What is that? Crimson Gardens. Hmm. Let's see, we came from that way, might as well continue on this way then. Yeah, otherwise, could we agree to try to circle around back to the, the portal? Uh, that would be Just going to, uh, this way. Yeah, must be more like we have a proper circular search. Of the area. Yeah. Okay, didn't collect that so well. Let's see. Warped aura fungus. Okay, huh. that was a new sound. 
Uh, wait, what's that block? Uh, which block? The obviously not redstone, uh, red brick. Yeah, this oh, this is grassy. Oh, oh gra a bit of weird colored grass for the nether. I'm noticing yellow grass here. Here we go. Not sure if we can get any use of that, unless there is something that uh, yeah, needs to grow on grassy nether rack for some reason. Huh. Maybe. I'm, sorry, I'm pretty. I think if we really want to go find a fortress, we need to go. <clears throat> we need to stick to the open areas, since there we can actually well see ahead of where we're going. Yeah, and I think that is usually around those areas where the fortresses spawn. For I don't think I've seen a fortress spawn inside these things. More next to. Or near, but usually in an open area. And that was the timer going off, but let's see if we can back get back first. It'll still be quite a bit of a distance, but yeah. Should be doable in a few minutes. As long as we don't run into anything big and scary trying to kill us. Other than Two the nether itself. Hours later. <laughs> okay. uh, let's hope you don't die. Okay, I heard of some. I heard of some sort of tearing noise. The pre, the last time that I got one of those mushrooms. Ooh, what have we there? Cobalt. Nice. There's a bunch of glowstone that way. This looks like that wizard where we were last time. Yeah. We're similar to it. I mean, what is that? That's gold. Actually, okay, that might be the fortress. The, not uh, the, a blackstone fortress, not the one that we're looking for. Yeah, that is a blackstone fortress. All right, at least we know where we are, and it could still have good loot. True. So let's just build our way towards it. Let's try not to piss off the locals too much before we flee. Oh dear. Okay. Oops, solium. Yeah. How good is solium again? Yeah, if I remember correctly, it is very powerful as an a weapon part. Let's actually see. Solium. Let's see. It's uh, 4.6 attack damage. It's actually not as good as I recall. Oh, but on oh on weapons it does show. 12 there, 8 there. That is about or better than diamond. Normal diamond, that is. So it's like a potential uh, weapon to make something from them? Uh, yeah. A potential metal to make some weapons from. Okay, be careful here since we're near lava and all. I hope they expect that Demigorgon to come through. Then again, I've been watching Stranger Things again. Yeah. Okay, this is a quite open area. With some luck, we might find a, f a nether fortress from you. There. Ow. Okay. Blackstone fortress found. It's, okay, this one isn't over lava. And that's the best soul sensor, not touching it. And I can see us stealing a few bricks from here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this part is above lava. There's some gilded blackstone. And 
if he wants that, that is. Okay. Yeah, the Gilded Blackstar I thought is find this a bit weird, like the gold on it it looks a bit haphazardly added. Like it doesn't look it doesn't really look nice, just some of that's throw some splashes of molten gold on it and call it a day. I I believe it's supposed to be veins of gold in the stone itself. Okay, that would make more sense. Mm -hmm. Go. Oop, but... Oh, that's one of those brutes. Those are always hostile. Eat. Has that pissed off? That has pissed them all off. Or at least that one. But it's only the brutes. Uh, never mind. Well, we might be in a bit of trouble now with the locals. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, let's just sneak away. Okay, that was lucky. <laughs> I thought we were going to die there. Uh... Let's just go so dig ourselves a bit of a hole. Block that off so they can't follow. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll have to find, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to find my way back off stream. Yeah, that way, at least I can move down everything in the basement. And doesn't look like there's another fortress that way. I, I'll probably just have to teleport around until we can find one. What is this here? Let's see, nether rack, rail. Oh, okay. That must that must be a nether mine or something. Yeah, which could be near a nether fortress. Uh, could be. There's. I don't think there's anything that says that certain things spawn near right, other right, things. Right. As we just saw some further, uh, uh, move up, move up. Let's see. Towards east. East down. You see that one square block there? Uh, this is another Blackstone Fortress, it looks like. Oh, well, another place for loot then. Uh, but, yeah. Just going... Hmm. Let's teleport over here. Let's see, what is that? That's Y50. That should be safe. Yeah, they, 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 okay, that... Yeah, a, a bit cheaty, but uh, yeah, it's better that we end somewhere safe. So I can actually also work on stuff. And yeah, even if I had just ended the stream there, uh, people could have just said uh, you teleported out anyways, instead of just finding your own way back. <clears throat> okay, let's head inside. The cow, the cow actually seems to want to stay here. There we go. Is I think is a good thing for us, but I question a cow. Okay, save and quit. And uh, yeah, let's see. We've done most. We've done most of the things we typically go for on a week with streams. And tomorrow and the day after, I should also be able to do afternoon streams, depending on how exhausted le the work leaves me. Almost said leaves works me. <clears throat> but yeah. Okay. Uh, let's look for someone to raid then. All right. Uh, yeah, let's uh, mute the site because that was on the own. Or that's on our own channel because I was screwing around with the about us stuff. Okay, let's see. You mean you updated it finally? Yep, somewhat. Uh, let's see. Kainai is streaming Deep Rock Galactic. Then we have the Lazy General who is streaming Homeworld Desert of Karak. I believe that is a spin-off that's a a, a, a land-based RTS instead of a space-based one. 
Uh, actually, it's easier if I just screen share this as well. Really should get used to that at one point. Here we go. Uh, Dogger Douglas McDog is streaming Tomb Raider, uh, Tomb Raider again. Hexicle is streaming Disney Dreamland Valley. That's that Animal Crossing Disney game I uh, spoke of. And Touch Scaly Tail is streaming Garbanzo Quest. Can't say I've heard of that. Hmm. Any of those sound interesting? Touch Scaly Tail or Lazy General? Okay, let's go take a peek at this. Uh, oh, they're still starting up. And let's see, Lazy General, this is... Yeah, I think this is the, that... Uh, I, Homeworld hasn't had a new game in a while. I think a new one was announced a while ago, Homeworld 3. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, these are, these are a bit older. Or this is a bit older. Uh, yeah, should we go here, then? Okay, copy the name. Set this one back to browse. Close that off and go. That's not on mute the stream. And instead go back to here. Then there we go. Slash raid and go. And yeah, until next time. I have, yeah, for, we could take the rest of the week off to rest, but... Yeah, I want to continue with Rayman Origins and Shantae. And we are getting closer yeah, to the end of them both. Yeah, we're also in a flow again since we also have we had barely time to stream at all. Yeah. But we'll see how it, things end up after, well, the night shifts. Luckily, it's only two this time. So, uh, yeah, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you, as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, start the raid. Uh, yeah. Again, thank you. Any yeah. Until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch for creepers and piglins.